Hello, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, something a wee bit different today. It's a book, Battlefront's Art of War. So I picked this up and it's a book containing a lot of their art that they've used on their boxes. It's um, war art is almost a genre all of itself. And I think this book explores a lot of it. Probably the reason why I love buying my Offspray books is the artwork which is in it, really making things come to life and firing up the imagination. Also, this kind of acts as a bit of a uniform guide as well. But to be honest, I just got it to indulge looking at uh, war art. So, what do we have in it? So, Battlefront obviously have products from a load of different periods. As you can see there, it shows you the sort of spread of the content. A lot of the stuff is this late war period. So what we're we getting into. So everything in this book is really nice produced, a big scale, big size. You're able to have a good look at the pictures. I'm not going to go through every page, just giving you a bit of a look. So this is obviously from the Great War which is a period I've, I've got a lot of uh, models for. And then we jump into 1939, early war. So some Russian, Japanese. And it's interesting that it's a military art. Obviously, this would be very unlikely to be a realistic ver picture of, of warfare at the time. Obviously, very close range. But uh, I think it captures an essence And you can also see where these have been used as different covers of a box. So sometimes you'll get one big piece of art which is split up into a couple of different sections and used on different pieces of the box. So there we go. So this is a good example of that. Obviously, you've got the 88 gun there. I believe that's an 88. Everything's all close range. It's very, very dramatic stuff happening. Cool to look at. Interesting enough, this picture here is in a style which doesn't really fit the rest of the style in it. It's a standout one. Every time I've looked through this book, it kind of stands out like sort of. You know, this is another example of that kind of box art we're talking about. Very close personal action. Uh, this one here was, I think, for the Africa book, because you see you've got British, American, uh, you'll have Italians and Germans as well. And it's good that these books exist. I don't like keeping boxes to the art. And it allows me to indulge that art without having to keep loads of boxes. Into the big behemoths of the late war. So yeah, if you've just after something, I'd consider this a sort of a coffee book, coffee table book. Something that you can just pick up, flick through, look through. Maybe just get a bit of inspiration for uniform guides or uh, what things should kind of look like, approximations. It's not a bad shout. It doesn't have everything in it. But it's got enough. Loads of late war stuff. Going into the fall of Berlin. And then post-war, obviously, Battlefront does a lot of post-war stuff. So not a massive amount of post-war stuff. Vietnam. And again, it's really interesting looking at stuff like this. So this is obviously the cover of, I think it's the rule book. So you can often see that in comparison with other pictures, the composition's a bit spartan with a lot of space. And this is often so design this way so you can lay text over top of it and it doesn't interfere too much with the with the subject matter of the paintings which is something to think about with this style of painting and artwork so there we go so not quite pleased with this 10 15 pound for the book 
a really nice look through some military art. Like I say, it sits on a coffee table or on the bookshelf. If I'm after 10, 15 minutes with a cup of coffee, something to look at, it's, it's something I'll uh, pull off the shelf and have a look at. Anyway, thanks for watching. I look forward to hearing your comments and chatting to you on other videos and you have a great time. Goodbye.